I am here in beautiful Bahamas, specifically Great Exuma Island. I'm lucky enough to be staying here for the, my birthday week. And this isn't my normal video, but today I have a paddle board that I acquired and I'm gonna be paddling out to that little point out there, which is an, about a mile away, okay? My family thinks I'm crazy for paddling that far on a paddle board, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm gonna paddle out there, try to get some conch, dive down with uh, my snorkel, and I'm, I have all the ingredients in my bag here and some gear to make a beautiful conch salad in the Bahamas with fresh conch. Without further ado, let's paddle out and see how this goes. Safety first. I know you're supposed to stand up on these things, but I did that last night. I can stand up for a little bit, but then a big wave comes and I fall off. I'm not taking any chances with all this gear I have falling in. situation guys it is super windy out here the wind is fighting me it's uh i have a strong headwind the way that i'm going the direction i'm trying to go and the wind is so strong that i can't even i'm stuck out here right now died down slightly and as you can see I'm getting close to the to the point and to the island it was looking impossible there back there it was getting real tough and I was I was getting scared I was about to head back but I'm glad I didn't because I am about 80% of the way there still pretty far away though the wind keeps turning me this way I don't want to go this way wind Stop it! Ah! Come on! I'm so close. Ah! Oh, I'm excited to see what's on this little island. Woo! Coming into port. These rocks are so sharp. I gotta be careful about those. Can't lose that. That's my only way back. Out what's on this little island there's not much here there's some little nice little tidal poles well, there's some fish here we do have a little bit of vegetation here as well some native plants I don't know what they are some birds 
birds on this island. I guess they could go wherever they want. I'd much rather be up in the air than on the water. That was intense. Not gonna be diving in that. The water is insanely choppy and rough over on this side. It's quite scary. One of these big waves could easily bring me into the, the rocks and swallow me up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be diving off the other side of this island. It's a lot more calm. It's super clear as you can see down there. So, I'm gonna get my snorkel on and start diving for some conch. Goodbye, little island. On to the next one. There's an actual beach here on this point, but I think some some rich person owns this. Let's go up here and see. There's a little rooftop there. There's some kind of building. On Google Maps, you can see there's a tennis court here on this point. So definitely some rich person. I don't want to be on their beach. And the water's really deep and murky all around here anyways. So I think I'm actually gonna head to that island over there. That's the one I was on earlier. Let's go over here. This doesn't look any good. Let's go to that island. Nice. I can show you without them flying away but uh, the water on this side is quite treacherous kind of just like the last island I was on so but it's, this one's a lot longer so we can snorkel around the whole thing and I think I have a better chance of finding a conch but check out these birds over here
After about half an hour of snorkeling around my little island, I didn't find anything over there. So I walked on the mainland here and I'm headed over to this little inlet, this little bay here, because every time I've seen the locals with a big pile of conch, it's in a very calm bay. And the water here is definitely much more calm than over by my island. So I'm hoping I can find one somewhere around here. Wish me luck. got one guys and I found a ton of these empty shells on my island here but they're all empty but look how cool that is it's huge this is the biggest one I could find and it's only like medium size at best I found two other smaller ones than this so I just decided to take the biggest one I could find it's alive in there and I feel kind of bad now because there's his little eyeballs Here is my bag of ingredients that I'm going to be using today. We have a yellow bell pepper, orange bell pepper, tomato, two limes, an orange, and half of a sweet onion. That's all I could get. <laughs> I'm going to dice up this onion. All right. That's enough there. Something will eat that. I'll probably be like, damn, what the hell's an onion? I'm gonna rinse off the conch one more time. Now I'm gonna dice up the conch. It's pretty tough. Thank you, conch, for your life. I appreciate your life, and I will enjoy eating you. All right, that's all the meat we got. Nice and diced up here. In the pot it goes with the onion. Next up, we're gonna juice these two limes and the orange. The citrus will also kill some bacteria if there is any left in there. Very juicy little orange, that'll be good. Oh yeah, look at that juice. That's gonna be delicious. One more lime. Now the tomato. Hopefully Gordon Ramsay is watching this guys because this cutting, these uh, Cutting skills really suck right now. This knife's dull. Everything's sandy. I'm cutting on a freaking towel. It's not ideal. Let's dice this guy up. Now the orange bell pepper. Looking good, very colorful. Little hermit crab came over, wants to eat some of my delicious conch salad. Here it is guys, let's give it a stir. Oh my god, this is as fresh as it gets guys, let's give it a stir. Little pieces of conch in there, some citrus, pepper, tomato, onion. 
There's a piece of conch there with some tomato. I am so hungry. I almost forgot a few key things, guys. We need the hot sauce, because you're supposed to put a hot pepper in this, but I didn't have any. So I'm gonna add some Cholula. And then I have some salt and pepper packets. Give it a little more flavor. My, my plastic fork, the finest cutlery out here on my island. Give her a stir. Woo, that is looking good. Good enough to eat, I would say. Let's give her a taste. Get a little piece of conch. There we go, some tomato, pepper, onion. Cheers, guys. I just figured out that this is not a sweet onion. This is a, a hot onion, but it's pretty good still. Hopefully I prepared the con correctly and I don't get sick. We will see about that later. Here's a little piece of conch itself. I'm going to try that, just that itself. Wow. Very good. It's like a scallop. It felt tough when I was cutting it, but it's actually quite tender to eat and it soaked up some of the citrus flavor. Man, it's delicious. A little bit of heat from the hot sauce. Definitely good. Definitely a good addition. Well guys, I ate it all. Just a little bit of juice left. If I made it again, I would get a bigger conch and not add the hot sauce because it made the whole thing too spicy. Um, the hot pepper would have been much better. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyways, we still did it. This was a big challenge for me because I don't have any of the right equipment. I don't even have a tripod for my phone camera. It's just in the paddleboard elastic holding it up right now. Um, but and my GoPros are dead now but either way we did it we sailed out on a paddleboard a mile to this deserted island made some conch salad ate the whole thing it was very good had a lot of fun this is not like my normal videos but if you enjoyed this video anyway make sure you hit that subscribe button and comment down below for more videos like this and I will make more videos like this thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Peace out.